Tonight we're hearing from an elementary school student who says that a teacher threatened to use a taser on him while chasing him out of a classroom. ABC 13's Derek Lewis live now at the school in Channel View with more from that student and his mom. Derek? Yeah, Gina, Noe is a fifth grader here, and he says this all started as a joke between him and his friends. Now his mother is saying the teacher's response went too far, but it, her consequences were not enough. And my friend thought it would be funny to close her laptop as a joke, and um, I did it, but she put out, she put out a taser and said, I'm going to taser the out of this kid, and then she buzzed it, and I ran out to class scared for my life. Ten-year-old Noe Guerrero says he ran to the counselor's office Thursday to tell them what happened. When he got home, he also told his mom. I was in shock. When Marie Casada found out, she says she was happy to know her son was not hurt, but wondered why no one called to tell her. My first reaction was call the superintendent. Let them know what's going on because I was not notified at the moment. Casada says they transferred her to the school's principal, who then scheduled a meeting with her Friday morning to talk about the incident and get a statement from Noe. Channel View ISD tells ABC 13 administrators started an investigation immediately and told parents what happened. They say the staff member is no longer an employee with the district, but that is not enough for Casada. She could go any other district and hurt another kid, traumatize a whole classroom. Casada says her son is in special education classes and is working on his behavior after being diagnosed with ADHD and autism. She wishes his teacher had more patience. I feel that she shouldn't be teaching. If she's not capable of teaching or handling the situation right with a 10-year-old that has a condition, a medical condition, then she shouldn't be licensed to be a teacher. Noe plans to go back to school Monday, hoping a scary incident like this doesn't happen again. I don't think that any teacher should treat the, any other student that the way they treated me. ABC 13 is not reporting the teacher's name because the district did not identify her and we were unable to reach her for comment. There's no word on whether she will face charges. In Channel View, I'm Derek Lewis, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.